Hello and welcome to another Portworks demo. Today we're going to showcase how to back up and restore an application on Red Hat OpenShift. First, we're going to log into the Red Hat OpenShift web user interface and validate the configuration. So today we're running on a installer provision infrastructure of OpenShift on AWS and we're running the latest version of 4.11, which is 4.31. We've also already configured Portworks Enterprise, which we can validate by checking the certified operator in Portworks namespace and the storage cluster. And we'll see that it is currently online. I've also already installed and configured the Portworks backup, and we can validate that by going over to the developer experience and going to the central namespace and checking out the Helm chart. So the Helm chart was already installed and configured with version 2.4.0. Jumping back to the administrator experience, I've also already configured a workload. So if we go over to Portworks barbecue, we love our barbecue here at Portworks. We have a simple, you know, two-tier application um, running. We have a Mongo database running and then three web interfaces running. We can check out the Mongo configuration here. It's configured with a PVC that is configured to use the PXDB storage class, which is the Portworx Enterprise storage class. And we can check out the storage class here and see the provisioner is the entry Portworx volume. So let's jump over to Portworx backup. I've already configured the OpenShift cluster in here, and I've also gone into cloud settings and configured a cloud account, so my AWS account, and then a backup location. So I have an S3 location here. So let's jump back over and jump into the cluster. So we're going to back up Portworx Barbecue. So searching for that, we'll see that we can select a resource. But before we do the backup, let's add some information in here so that we have uh, can restore and verify that we've restored successfully. So in Barbecue, I'm going to just add some orders in here and keep ordering some more. and I can validate my order history. So here, I've ordered a couple smoked brisket with french fries or cornbread and a couple different sides. So backing, jumping back to Portworx backup, let's just back up the data that we've had so far. So I'm gonna go into backup and create a name for it and give it a location. And I can either do it on schedule or I can just back it up now. I can also have rules in place. So if I have something to put Mongo into hot backup mode and take it out of hot backup mode, I could have these rules. But since we're not actively writing to the database, it should be okay to do an application consistent, crash consistent backup and restore. So I'm gonna create this backup here and it's gonna start backing up. And we can see that the operation is pending and that the first thing it's doing is backing up the volumes. So we're just gonna wait for this to complete here and then we'll add some more orders to the Portworx barbecue. So just waiting on a com successful completion here. So the volumes have been backed up and now the resources are being backed up. We can also check on uh, details here by showing show details. Again, the backup's in progress. And we can see which resources it's gonna create. There's three cluster roles. There's a CSV, two deployments, the PVC and PV, the route, and then the two services that were created. So the web front end and the Mongo service. Okay, so we have a successful backup here. And we have our one volume and our 11 resources that we saw when we checked on details. 
So let's jump back in the pork barbecue and we're gonna order some more things. So let's try not to order smoked brisket this time. Uh, how about some pulled pork? Pudding, coleslaw, and sweet tea. I'm in from the south, so you know, gotta have our sweet tea. Oh, uh, order one more thing. Uh, let's do cauliflower steaks. That sounds pretty good. Brussels sprouts, and mm, let's do a pork special this time. All right, so let's place our order, and let's come back over here and check our order history. So we have our two smoked briskets that we backed up. And then we have two new ones, pulled pork and grilled cauliflower steaks. Now let's restore. So something has occurred and now we need to restore. So we had no restores in progress yet. So let's create the restore. So we're going to restore our PX barbecue. The one back to the same cluster. And this time we're going to replace existing resources. So what is already there, we're gonna replace everything that's in place currently. So we're gonna start the restore. And when we go jump back over to uh, our OpenShift console, we can come over here and we'll be able to watch these pods be turned down and then turned back on as they come online. So we're just waiting for the Portworks barbecue restore to occur. And here we go. We're seeing a termination, so the deployments have been replaced, and we're just waiting for the uh, PVC to be fully restored, and then the deployments will become brought back online. You can jump over to the central, just check that the restore is still in progress, that the volume's been completed, and now we're bringing the resources back online. So on the OCP GUI, we can check the deployments and wait for these to show up here as they come online. So okay, our deployments have been created, resource replica sets should be created, and now just waiting on our data to come online. So if we check our Oryx Barbecue restore, it has completed, check on details here. Some resources were not replaced. But we can check back over here and check our orders. And there, we're back to when we originally did the backup. We only have those two orders in place. So that's how easy it is to use Portworx backup to backup and restore your applications in a Red Hat OpenShift container platform environment. Thank you.